Most Dangerous National Parks Hey everyone, it's Alexa and welcome back to another video. Going on a vacation with friends or family to a national park sounds like a good time. Take a second look at your surroundings though. Do you have all the supplies you need? Are you on a level the ground? Are the skies clear overhead? Here are some of the most dangerous parks where you definitely need to check yourself before, well, you know. But before we get into today's video, make sure that you're subscribed and ring the bell so that you never miss any of our upcoming videos. Mount Rainier, the highest point. Located in the Mount Rainier National Park is the massive active volcano named Mount Rainier, also known as Tahoma or Tacoma. It is the highest mountain in Washington with an elevation of 4,392 meters. The hike up this volcano is considered one of the deadliest in the United States. Over 400 fatalities have been recorded here, so if you plan to visit, proceed with the utmost caution. Not only is it an unpredictable volcano, but the extreme weather can cause anything from hypothermia to heat heat stroke. Plus, you have to watch out for falling rocks and avalanches. The Heat of the Lake in the 1920s, Nevada decided to create a dam and lake between Nevada and Arizona. That project gave birth to Lake Mead, and in 1936, it became a national park. The Lake Mead National Recreation Area stretches for 1.4 million acres. You must take all the regular caution around this lake that you would with any body of water. Wear a life jacket, know how to swim, and don't get intoxicated while you're there. Try not to go during the spring or summer unless you want to face the desert heat that reaches over 115 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 46 degrees Celsius. Celsius. The Popular Canyon Grand Canyon has over 5 million people visiting annually. At least 83% of those visitors are from the U.S. As beloved as it is, and with as many people that take their children here, the Grand Canyon is no joke. Since the 1880s, an estimated 770 fatalities have been reported here. Some of those fatalities were on purpose, and others were the result of dehydration, hypothermia, or just accidents like slipping while hiking. The Sandstone Trap Thanks to flash flooding, the sandstone formed into swirls of reds, pinks, and oranges. This is Antelope Canyon, located in Page, Arizona. It features attractions such as Upper Antelope, Lower Antelope, the Corkscrew, and the Crack. There is no wandering here alone. The canyons are only accessible through a guided tour. If it's beautiful weather out, there's not much to worry about. Just watch your step and listen to your guide. The real danger comes when sudden storms occur. Remember how we said flash floods created this place? Wash from heavy rains still flows here, carrying anything and everything through very narrow passageways. Careful on the saddle. If this landscape looks familiar to you, then you've probably watched The Lord of the Rings. Cascade Saddle can be found in New Zealand. To walk the entire crossing to Cascade Saddle will take up to four days, if you're going steady, though daredevils have tried to traverse the whole thing in a day. While there are peaceful beach forests and alpine meadows, the mountainous areas are also full of jagged edges and slippery rocks, so beware. Lassen, the largest dome volcano. You will find Lassen Volcanic National Park in northeastern California. Lassen is a plug dome volcano, actually the largest in the world. Also called a lava dome, plug volcanoes are circular and mound-shaped with lava slowly pouring out of it. Lassen is still active, and the last time it erupted was in 1917. Experts say that the average volcano erupts once every 100 years, depending on the volcano, so be wary. Beware the Bridge The Golden Gate Bridge is one of, if not the most, famous monument in San Francisco. If you want to take a break from city life, you can also take a hike or camp in the nearby Golden Gate National Recreation Area. However, visiting isn't always a walk in the park. There are many rip currents and large waves that appear without warning. All that water has trapped many a swimmer in the past. In fact, there's an average of 85 lives lost every year due to accidents in the water. The Vast Glen Canyon Between Arizona and Utah is Glen Canyon. You might know it best for Lake Powell, the largest human-made lake in North America. The entirety of the Glen Canyon National Recreation Area measures one and a quarter million acres, while the lake itself has an area of 634.8 square kilometers. In short, this is a big place with big dangers. Many of the incidents happened in the water. Ever since the lake's opening in 1963, it has claimed the lives of a reported 150 people who were not wearing life jackets. It's best to not dive into the water from high points either because there are many unseen submerged rocks. 
through the canyon lands. This next American National Park is also in Utah. The Canyon Lands National Park preserves the many canyons, buttes, and mesas, along with major rivers like the Green River and the Colorado River. Canyon Lands National Park is like most places with a rocky terrain. As long as you stay on a clear path, away from the edge and slippery rocks, you keep yourself hydrated, and you're cautious around wildlife, it's usually fine. Those are the things you can control, for the most part. Things like lightning and flash floods are also a problem and can occur really suddenly. The NPS gov page for Canyonlands says it best. When lightning is present, there is no safe place outside. In an event like that, get indoors or get in your car. If there's no indoors present, stay away from trees and crouch low to the ground. The Way Up Sargamatha National Park sits in the Himalayas, covered in snow and surrounded by valleys and glaciers. It stretches over 1,100 square kilometers. It's home to many treacherous mountains. However, its most popular and most dangerous attraction has got to be Mount Everest. Every year, around 1,000 people try to scale the mighty Mount Everest, and only half of these people reach the summit. This mountain peak rises 29,029 feet, or 8,800 meters off the ground, and has seen 300 fatalities just from people attempting to climb it. The Half Dome Yosemite National Park measures 747,956 acres and receives 5 million visitors every year. This park first opened in 1890. Since then, there have been about 150 fatalities. Many of those deaths were a result of natural causes brought on by the challenge of the rough terrain. Other times, people perished from falling off of cliffs or from lightning strikes. One of the riskiest places to hike in Yosemite is the Half Dome. This granite dome is located in the eastern end of the park and stands at an elevation of 2,600 meters. Countless people have fallen from Half Dome, slipping down the steep, nearly 90-degree face. The Devil's Pool The Victoria Falls National Park is near the town of the same name, located in western Zimbabwe. Its greatest feature is its massive waterfall that plummets into the Zambezi River. In the local language, Victoria Falls is referred to as the smoke that thunders. Its total height is 108 meters, but that's not the complete threat. There's a natural swimming pool right on the ledge of the falls named the Devil's Pool. It appears like an infinity pool, right, making it difficult to detect where the edge is. Lounging in this pool can be a safe experience, you just have to follow a few rules. Enter the pool only when there are low water conditions. At the lip of the cliff, there's a rock ledge that helps keep you in. When the water is high, you can't see where the ledge is, and that is where the risk comes in. The Grandest of Parks If you travel up to northwestern Wyoming, there is no missing Grand Teton National Park. It spans for 310,000 acres, including everything from forests and lakes to mountain peaks and the valley known as Jackson Hole. It is also near Yellowstone, which we'll get to later. Humans have visited this area for at least the last 11,000 years. The first was the nomadic Paleo-Indians that migrated through here during the warm seasons. The first peoples of European descent did not come here until the 19th century. It makes sense. You'd probably avoid this place too if you knew it was riddled with steep slopes where you can easily slip and die. Reportedly, there are as many as 59 falls every year. The original Natchez Trace The old Natchez Trace is a forest trail that extends 440 miles from Nashville, Tennessee to Natchez, Mississippi. The National Park Service preserves the original paths and it is now officially called the Natchez Trace Parkway. Commercial traffic is allowed, but only through a portion of the route. Bicyclists and motorists alike come here for the views. If you travel down here via car, you cannot exceed speeds of 40 miles an hour. So what is so dangerous about this road? For one, it's a popular place for people to jump off the bridge or any high point in the park. The road conditions are also not stable, resulting in many motor vehicle accidents. The Smokies The Great Smoky Mountains National Park includes the sub-range of the Appalachian Mountains chain called, well, the Great Smoky Mountains. We'll call them the Smokies here for short. It sits between Tennessee and North Carolina and is the most visited national park in the United States. Over 11.3 million people visit annually. Out of that number, an estimated 60 fatalities happen on the trails every year. Watch out for wildfires. In 2016 alone, over 70 people were injured as flames engulfed parts of the Smokies. Additionally, there will be many times when the park closes certain roads due to weather conditions. Closures often happen because of all the differing elevations. 
the Wide and Narrows. Zion National Park is yet another famous national park in the U.S. located in Utah. Zion measures 229 square miles or 590 square kilometers. Hundreds of species of plants and animals have made this their home. But do you know what else you'll find there? A little section of the Zion Canyon called the Narrows. This area is hailed as the most dramatic feature of Zion. Tens of thousands of hikers pass through the Narrows every year. Because there's no trail here, most people wade through the Virgin River that runs right through the middle. To get through the whole thing can take about two days. Plus, you need a permit. Since the water levels can change really suddenly, leisurely wading can turn into a swim for your life. Storms happen without warning in the summertime, and flash floods can occur even if it isn't currently raining. Before we reveal number one, we've got a question for you. Are you an outdoors person, or do you prefer the comfort of your room in a big city? Let us know your preferences in the comments below. One, the Tri-State Park. Yellowstone exists between Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho. It became an official national park in 1872, making it actually the first national park in the U.S. Yellowstone National Park is famous for a plethora of characteristics, such as the plentiful wildlife, forests, mammoth lakes, mountains, and most notably, the geysers. That means there are a lot of different ways that people can get hurt. People have fallen from canyons while others have gotten too close to the acidic water of the Grand Prismatic Spring. Oh, and did we mention the bears? Among the most aggressive of bears is the grizzly bear, and they have been known to get vicious when encountered people in Yellowstone. Even with those big beasts running around, remember that in the 142-year history of Yellowstone as a park, only eight reported fatalities involving bears has actually happened.